In the 2013 general election, Donville Innes of the Democratic Labour Party beat Sandra Husbands of the Barbados Labour Party by 770 votes in this constituency of St. James South. With general elections due between now and next year, will Donville Innes remain in place or will Sandra Husbands take over? Our first stop is West Terrace Gardens to find out from the people what they think. But as, as, as a person who is clearly educated, I am not seeing anything on the horizon that looks close to making sense. There's the honest truth. There's another one. I, don't hear I ain't hear anybody coming with any plan. I think the opposition slip up in capitalizing on what is going on, all the mistakes being made. And they're not capitalizing, so if they're capitalizing now, I can't expect them to come and do something later. But I stick in with that. Uh, I only say that because uh, most of my time, my years, I didn't vote in the Democratic Party, but recently I, I like the performance and I ain't thinking, I got to decide for my mind on the other party. Disappointed at how they dance. They flatter to deceive. They promised much, took everything and gave back nothing. We have just come out of West Terrace Gardens with most of those who spoke with us being undecided, but at the same time giving sitting MP Donville Innes the thumbs down. Only one man said he was sticking with Innes, while one woman declared her support for opposition Barbados Labour Party candidate Sandra Husbands. As we continue our journey through the St. James South constituency, we will go to Husbands next and feel the pulse of the people. What coming up now, they, they got to give the bees a break. They got to give the bees a break now. So we will be voting. I think all the people in the husbands they said they're going to vote bees this time. They can, you can question other people who will say what they say, right? So that is our, our people for the next election. I was Barbie for the first time in the 18, and I never stopped. Mm hmm. Never stopped, and I would never stop. The BFP. Why is that? You tell us who is voting for you, tell our visit to Husbands has left little doubt that the BLP's Sandra Husbands has overwhelming support in that district, with entire families pledging their backing for the opposition candidate. Let's check out the residents of Hainesville and hear what they think. When you talk to politicians, the politicians say one thing again, and again they don't care them about you. So my belief is in God. He's my judge. He wakes me up in the morning, he put me sick for night, he wakes me up, he gives me strength, he controls me, he do everything. That's my God, that's my, that's the man that represented me. He was a God. Well, sometimes it's more communicate with me better than uh, a dog with him. That's it on me, I never see she before, yeah, but... Yeah, she's a little like she's, see her every time I was here. Yeah, she's... I had a little tournament with her organizing as far as the tennis is concerned, and Sandra paid more interest and made sure that before he's going to stop the tournament. Yeah. It's actually there all throughout the tournament and things on. Well, they need a change in this government right now. Things are definitely too hard in Barbados. And this government has to go. There's no doubt about it. Things are definitely too hard in this country. Santi Diapi has been in power, which is generally the case. No money is ever around. Whenever this government comes in power, money just disappears. So this government has to go. They got our people about in this district that want food, that do a lot for the community, and the government looking down for our people and telling me about vote for them. I want to save them mothers and them in a year old too. As in previous constituencies, the apathy among residents in Hainesville was evident, but at the same time, a significant number of constituents in this St. James South riding are leaning towards the BLP's Sandra Husbands. <laughs> 